Hello students, here I am again coming back in front of you, in front of the monitor. Um, welcome back again for our next session of our meeting. Are you ready students? Are you ready? Now let's go and start with our class today. Alright kids, yesterday we talked about how are we going to take good care of our plants in our houses or in our surroundings. We all know also that the plants uh, are very important not only to us but also to the animals and today our topic is all about life cycle of flowering plants so now let's proceed right watch this video in order for you to understand Just what i am talking about go through a life cycle from birth to death plants go through their own life cycle their life cycle however begins with a seed and ends with a seed First, we go through the seed stage. The seed is a well-designed survival pod. During the seed stage, there is no growth. However, the living seed embryo uses energy very slowly, waiting for the right conditions. When the conditions are right, the outside seed coat will swell and pop open, and then the seed will go on to germination. Seeds can take many shapes and forms, and we even eat some seeds. Yeah. In germination, the plant will begin to emerge from the seed. This step only occurs if the seed gets the proper light, water, temperature, and minerals it requires. A seed will not germinate without meeting the proper requirements for the individual plant. Next, if the right elements of sunlight, nutrients, water, and air are kept, the seed will begin to sprout roots and a stem and become a seedling. Roots are important to anchor the seedling into the soil and uptake nutrients for the plant. The shoot or stem will then grow upwards and reach for light. Once the shoot reaches the surface, the seed becomes a sprout. The sprout will then take on a green color and begin to develop leaves. Once the seedling develops leaves, it will be able to make its own food through photosynthesis. As the plant grows using the energy it has created, it will begin to mature and will no longer be a seedling. The mature plant will have many leaves. After maturing, a plant will begin to develop flowers. Yeah. It will produce these flowers from a bud at growing tips. Flowers are important for the reproduction of a plant. Pollination of the flowers must occur in order to create new seeds from the plant. In exchange for food, insects and birds often pollinate flowers. Such pollinators include bees, butterflies, and even various birds. After pollination has occurred, the flowers will transform into fruiting bodies, which Ooh, contain yummy. seeds that will start the plant life cycle over again, beginning with the seed stage. All right, the life cycle of the plants will start always on the flower and then turn into a seed. I hope that you learned something from the video that I showed to you. Now, this, now next, what are the stages of flowering plants life cycle? So we will learn and we will know here what are the stages? Number one here. The first thing is all living things. This is an information that you have to know that all living things has a life cycle, including myself, including yourself, including your father and mother and grandfather and even your ancestors, right? All living things, not some, not few, but all living things has a life cycle. Okay, including the, the plants, what I've said. Living things start their life grow into adults and finally die the same with this we start um becomes a baby and then grows into an adult and finally we will die the same with a plant all right here we go if they have young well they have when they are alive the cycle repeats itself okay that means it will repeat not only twice not only thrice but the life, the life cycle will never, never end. So, next here. All right. We're in the next slide. In this way, living things of the same kind continue to be found on the desert. The same with me, the same with human being. The human being still, um, still can be found on earth this time, like, like me and my parents. And flowering plants start life as a seed. Okay? starts life um, as a seed. 
the seed germinates to become seedling. So, the seedling grows into an adult plant that produces flowers, the same with this picture. This is the life cycle of a sunflower. It starts from the seeds, and then the roots is there, start to sprout, and then it becomes a baby plant, and then then turn into an adult plant, and then the seeds fall on the ground and starts to grow again. So the cycle will never end. It will uh, repeat uh, not only once, but twice, thrice, many times, um, actually. So here we go, next slide here. It says, the flower produces seeds that grow into new plant. So here, the seed, and then turns into seedling, and then an adult. That's what I have uh, told you. A while ago so now let's talk about germination okay I'm sorry for this um, let's talk about germination so in germination you can see inside the seed is an embryo so the same with the human being or, or the, our mother so we have embryo here the color yellow and the food is the stored here the food of the the seed and this one is the seed coat the seed coat is a color brown I think these are the parts of the seed. So the embryo here, always remember, excuse me, is the one who will grow up into a new living organism or new plant. All right, here we go. When the seed gets enough water and warmth, it starts to germinate. So this is the process of germination. When the, 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 the seeds get enough water, not too much, not few, but enough, and warmth, it starts to germinate. So that's the germination process starts all right so next here the root breaks out the seed and reaches down into the soil so this is the root the small root here it will what it will breaks out into the seed and then reaches down to the soil to get some nutrients and starts to their new life the root starts to take in water and minerals from the soil not from the air not from the sun not from the sky but from the soil itself all right so that's the soon soon the shoot sprouts from the seed it pushes its way above the soil and becomes the stem the new plant called seedling okay the new plant called seedling very good very good always remember this one that the new plant called seedling okay all right okay put that in your mind sprout means um start to um, open, start to open and the shoot will go out from that uh, certain certain seed that you um, put in the ground. So here we go for the next slide. Watch this. This video talks about germination. Hello friends, how are you all? I'm your friend and today we will learn about germination of seeds. Plants start their lives as small seeds. These can be as small as a grain of salt or larger than your fingernail. Some are round, some are flat, or some are tear-shaped. Yes. To understand more about the process of germination, let's first see the parts of the seed. Alright, that's what I have told you a while ago. The parts of the seed. The outside of the seed has a coat. Aww, not this one, buddy. And it acts as a protection yeah, for the, the embryo to make sure the it's color yellow. Some seeds have soft seed coats, and some have hard. The inside of a seed has four important parts. Mm. They are the epicotyl. These are parts of the seed that become the first leaves of a plant. Yeah. The hypocotyl is the stem of the plant. The radical. It is the first root the plant has. The cotyledon. It is the inner protective layer of the seed that sucks food for the seed. Shh. The seed is in a dormant state. Seeds remain inactive or dormant until conditions are right for germination. These are the conditions for germination of the seeds. Some seeds need light to germinate, others need darkness. But all the seeds need oxygen, moisture, the correct temperature in order to germinate. Once the conditions are appropriate, the plant inside starts to grow. Yes, very good, buddy. It is important to keep the soil watered, so right, that the soil's right. surface never dries out, but remains constantly moist. Aww, look closely. When the seed is full enough, it pops open. 
The first parts of the seed to come through the seed coat are the cotyledon, then the root, or the radical. The root takes hold of the soil and starts to consume food yeah. from the soil. But because it's still so tiny, the cotyledon is still the main source of food. The hypocotyl continues to grow upward with the epicotyl, and thus the epicotyl becomes the first leaves of the new plant. By the time the epicotyl are showing, the plant is now above the ground. When this happens, the cotyledon fall off the plant and become part of the soil because their work is complete. Once the cotyledon are gone, the plant's tiny leaves take over the job of supplying food to the new plant. And that is a process called germination. Gymnation is the phase of plant growth when the seed begins to sprout. Now you know a lot about gymnation of seeds. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye bye! Goodbye! So kids, I hope that you learned something from that video alone. That if you're going to plant, if, you're, if you have planned to plant seeds or plant flowers or any fruits in your houses, you have to follow the process. Put first, you have to put the seeds in the soil and then you have to put some water, not just just enough water, not not few, not uh, too much, so that uh, the plants will grow healthily. Now, in the next slide, we talk about the growth of the the plant. So the plant in this time is already growing. Now, next slide, please. All right. So here we go. The first, um, at first, this is at, at first. So I will show you. At first. The seedling uses food stored stored in the seed. When leaves begin to grow, the plant starts to make its own food. So the same as you look at the, in the picture, look at in the picture here, the plants, uh, the seed is already growing. So uh, let's go to the next slide here. Right, now here we go. The roots takes in water. This one is the roots there, right? So the roots, as a... Uh, you can see the video. The stem carries water to the leaves. The leaves use light, water, and carbon dioxide from the air to make food. So as, uh, you can see here in the picture, I wrote, I wrote it there, I wrote it there, roots, stem, and leaves. So those are the process of the plant to grow. Okay, the plant, the plant grows flowers when it becomes an adult. So this time, the plant can produce what able to produce flowers because it's already adult. During his um, all right. So the next slide is here. Right. The number. Now this time, I want you to answer this. Let's try to answer this one. Number the picture from one to four to put them in order of a plant's life cycle. Let me try your. Um, ability if you can answer this one. Let's try. Ding, ding, ding. Number one. Yes, that's the number one answer there. How about number two? Of course, that's number two. How about number three? Yes, that is the number three. How about number four? That is the number four. For start from the seed, and then the seed starts to sprout, and then it becomes a new plant, the small plant there, and then turns into an adult plant. So the life cycle of a corn will start. Uh, always remain so how about here we talk about reproduction okay the next slide here talks about the reproduction of the plant so this is the, the fruit the seed pod or the fruit holding seeds All right here we go next the flowers All right sorry okay the flowers help plants reproduces they can make new seeds which grow into new plant so this is the picture here. That's what you have seen there. A fruit forms from a flower. A fruit holds and, and seeds protect the protect the fruit. So here we go. Let's we go on to the next slide. It also helps spread the seeds to new places. Okay, it really holds the seeds not to scatter to other places. And another thing here. When seed pods ripen, this is uh, the thing that you have to remember too. When the seeds, the seed pods ripen, they dry up, split open, and throw out their seeds. This brings seeds to the areas far away from their parent plant. So as you can see here, below my 
uh, below my video here. Their parents, the other plants, spread their seeds to the new areas with the help of the wind, water, or animals. So that's the thing that you have to remember. The life cycle of a plant always starts from the seed. And then if the seed will dry, I mean the, the, the seed pods ripen, they dry up and split open and throw their seeds to the ground. And then the germination will start in the, 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 when the seeds start to sprout and then turn into a new plant after a new plant to an adult plant and then starts to produce again uh, new flowers and then turn into seeds. So that's, that's the process of the, the life cycle of a flowering plant. Thank you everyone for uh, watching and thank you for listening and I hope that you can that you learn something from our uh, lesson for today and always remember every time that I end the video every time that I end the presentation you have to answer the worksheet that I'm going to send it to you and after the answering the question or I mean the worksheet just send it or I mean just keep it in a folder and give it to me uh, when the COVID-19 will gone or finally gone so if you'll go back to school bring the folder with um, the worksheets with you thank you so much for watching and have a good day to all of you